starting with the nonsense. We sure are. I'm a little bit suspicious of making this free colors. But apparently, um, Hit Clock Prankster helps a lot with consistency. And also, this is very clearly the funnest thing to start with. So. <laughs> Regardless of whether it's good or not, it's clearly the funnest option. How are you supposed to choose what to play now? Alas. It is a, it is a cruel world, Hester. They needed to do the thing that FF14 did around Elden Ring. Where they like intentionally staggered staggered releases so that employees could play it or whatever. Beast assist is already looking like the best deck in standard, and there isn't even any any fixing. It's great. What on earth is Altenac? Is this our kill con? Or else you discard it to return target land from the graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Oh, so this is just a way to get expensive things in the yard to analyze the pollen. Yeah, it's just a bunch of hasty otters. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> Has anyone seen this deck in action yet? I've heard very good things. Oh, you get it off Say It's Name. Okay, okay. Mill free cards. You may return a creature or land from your graveyard to your hand. Exile this card and two other cards named Say the Name, Say It's Name from your graveyard to search your grave. Oh! This is sick as hell. What on earth is this card? I love it. CFD. I so I don't want to keep all the lands. We have a lot to do with our mana here. Obviously, we do have to find a red land as part of that. But you want roots to be good so bad. Definitely one of the cooler cards in standard. Ooh, Enduring Vitality. Hell yeah. Cool. That's a very nice pickup. Oh, Lizard Time. Well, we definitely want this torch, I guess, so that we can't cast it yet. We draw a red source, taking the torch is like so fucked up. But if we work, we feel sad. I don't know. It feels like Enduring Vitality is going to give me red mana pretty soon. When it does, the torch is going to be great. Are there any decks people are hyped for other than the Leyline deck? Get a free land. Sure. We now get to start casting our torches, though. Very, very good. Um, go for Say Its Name, Pick Lock Torch. Yeah, Green Overlord and Domain. I think domain was kind of mid. Maybe, maybe this makes domain more reasonable. I don't know. I've not been very impressed by domain up until now, but it's plausible this makes it into something. Oh my god! Next time we get to go off, it's gonna be kind of great. Um, we hit Gev or the Fire Glass Mentor. I guess if I go to hit the Fire Glass Mentor, I can do it in combat, so my vitality actually gets to threaten to block. It is very good with Beanstalk. I'm not I'm not denying it. I wonder if I'm allowed to attack. I think I'm pretty happy if they block, right? Yeah, it could save it as an extra spell. I guess we could. I feel like attacking has to be pretty good, though. If 
they block, they lose both their creatures. I'm just gonna chill. Heaped harvest. You are, you're such a heaped harvest hater. I don't know, I'm kinda slowly being converted. But it's definitely better than heaped harvest. I would imagine. Right, this doesn't exile, right? Cool. Um. I could save this as a combo card. I just don't think I need that. Bargain is free. Oh, and it would get me a scry one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. It is an enchantment, it's true. Uh, second vitality seems pretty unnecessary. They hit me for free. And then we get to do some nonsense. So, cast a storm splitter. First spell is going to make one storm splitter. Second one's going to make two, blah, blah, blah. Cool. I guess I get max info before I start doing things. And then we get to... Back the token for the scry. Funny. Oh no, you're right. Oh my god, you're right, Gwen. We're learning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was silly, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, that was silly. I think we're still doing pretty good there. Yeah, it should still be fine. Certainly seems that way. At the very least, we're getting a lot of stuff here. Like a good value turn. All right, Pyroclasm's in. Green Shell's in. The Otter is kind of silly. It's very, very silly. <laughs> I love it. Oh. I love this otter. Hmm. Big Lock Pranks did good, did good work that game. Could be said. This turns on Analyze the Pollen is the theory. This is kind of weird. The more you trim on stuff for creatures and sideboarding, like what pranks to guts. Hey Shay, good to see you. But I really want to work on green shell plus otter at some point soon. And like, it does mean ditching the blue cards probably, but I feel like you can still make green shell work without some... Um, without... Pick lock. Higher claw comes down. They kind of have to grow this higher claw if they want it not to get clasmed. I assume they are not going to do that. Probably have a spicy two to run out instead. No, why? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, might of the meek. Hmm. I forgot that card exists. Yeah, yeah. I can't think of any other red cantrips. Wait, they didn't take Pyroclasm. What? I am so confused. <laughs> uh, okay. I mean... Yeah, take the new card instead. I guess they're both new cards. Whatevs. Some new cards are newer than others. 
Jasper, sure. We are just gonna get this thing down. I can't quite combo next turn. Nice, nice. Lizards in a pyroclasm world, yeah. Lizards have not um, not fared well from these new cards. I think it's fair to say. <laughs> Is it bad that I kind of want to block? It stops me getting down my storm splitter next turn. But like, I think trading with Jasper buys us so much time. Not like they're really killing me anymore. Some new cards were printed in the mid 90s, exactly. Wow, opponent just helping us uh, say its name. Hmm. See. Unfortunately, this one dying does nothing. Um. What am I meant to do here? God, Questing Druid could be so good for me, but it could also be so heinous. Hmm. Kind of just want to play this. Maybe this is like kind of bad. Buying time is fine. Yeah, now they're doing this instead of developing a bunch more lizards. That is a really good roll. That means when we play Storm Splitter, we can immediately cast a spell. Which means I probably just want to say its name and look for a land. Damn. God damn it. This card, yo. Hmm. Hmm. What a nightmare. <sighs> okay. That is also a good spell, Storm Splitter. Do I have the Questing Druid now? Instead of in my opponent's turn? I think this is fine. Yeah, we find the land drop. See, we lose a say its name, but that's okay. Next time we go Storm Splitter one, and then probably combo them. I kind of wish I had a creature that gained life in my oh. Alright, play this out. Uh, does Pollen gar guarantee two lands? Sorry, two spells? Why wouldn't Slight guarantee two spells? Because then the second... I guess they could have a removal spell. That's kind of the same either way though, right? I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. We get a Storm Splitter. It gets me a Questing Druid. Very nice. So now this has to... This wants to find a que another Questing Druid. And I get two Storm Splitters and I can start firing off Questing Druids. Yeah, go get another Questing Druid, I agree. Oh, uh, it does mean we're getting rid of a, our say, it, say Its Names. Big sad. Yeah, there's no way to avoid it, so I might as well just get rid of both. This analyze the pollen questing druid thing is kind of sick. <laughs> like, oh my god. Uh, 
Uh, yes, I will make a red mana. Feel like they could have done that earlier in the turn. Mayhaps. Free tokens. Nice. <laughs> this deck is great. Holy shit. I love it. Yeah, I guess we can keep this. Uh, find a normal red mana, I guess. Why not? What on earth? All right, opponent's doing some sort of enchantress thing. Spicy, spicy. So cease desist technically lets me analyze for my combo piece. So that is a little slow. Whenever an enchantment you control enters, or whenever you fully unlock a room, get a 1-1. One, one. Oh my god, I wish I had Pyroclasm in my deck right now. <laughs> um, do I want a Questing Druid? Or just cycle the Cease Desist to set up? Or I could go like Picklock Prankster to dig for Torch, I guess. Hmm. Maybe a yeah, bad idea. All right. Oh, that actually worked out so beautifully. Now I can just cycle this cease desist and analyze off of it. Gain two life. So we're gonna get rid of this. Go find our Enduring Vitality. Hope that it doesn't get exiled. What on earth does this do? Two counters, draw a card, becomes a copy. What a cool card. I wish I had a torch to protect my vitality right now. Unfortunately, I don't. And there's not a lot I can do about that, but you know. <laughs> um, uh, ha, ha, ha. Refine a forest, play a vitality. And cross our fingers. If we get to untap, we almost certainly murder them. But um, they might just have an exile effect. Ooh. Yeah. Seems pretty good. Hmm. I need to find a torch, right? So I can kill this hall creeper. Oh, it's ethereal armor in standard now? That's crazy. Hmm. Let's dig for torch. Thanks. Oh, and then try and desist next turn. Yeah, I didn't consider that. Ah, uh, maybe that was meant to be the line. Oh, it can't be blocked. Okay. Yeah, now I don't have the untapped land to do that next turn. 
Whatever, I guess this is the line now. I guess I could also just draw a vitality next turn, right? Off like the slight. How are otters? We won off. We won two of our three matches, I think. I do not know that I particularly like the specific build, but the vitality plus storm splitter thing is kind of sick. Is this twin basically? I think um, the blue cards are probably bad. I think you just want to be like red green. And you want to build it more as like a mid range deck that has a combo finish instead of a dedicated combo deck. But maybe I'm wrong about that. I don't know. That's what like appeals to me. But I don't know exactly how that would look. Like, I think a lot of the mill cards are kind of cope. But... We bring in Nissa as well. She does blow up stuff. Does the combo work if you want all within it? I feel like it should do. The thing is, Storm Split is so good with Green Shell, right? You can just like play it as a mid-range deck that just randomly wins games. And like I feel like a lot of the mill cards are just a bit unreliable, is the thing. Uh no, we beat the red deck that drew ley line every game. We lost to just red green with like normal draws. Yeah, we won that one easy. We did. We did. Probably have this Nissa. Yeah, maybe it's important, VB. I don't know. I just don't know that you need to kill people when you combo. I mean, this hand's good. <laughs> I can't quite figure out how how you build the mid range version. The storm splitters don't stick around. They do give you a lot of mana to do things with. It is like pretty powerful in itself. All right, um, obviously I wanna chill on this chasm, so I guess, let's see you go. Oh my God, we have so many storm splitters right now. Um, mm. this first. Mixel, thank you for the 36 months. Thank you, thank you, Mixel, for the three years of support. Hell yeah. Oh, this is kind of funny. Our vitality lets our sto storm splitter crack maps. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it becomes a free-free. Uh, this was not part of the plan. <laughs> Okay. We'll find a red source, I guess. Mm, I think I really need to chill on this. Is okay. That was a very big creep. 
Oh, we actually punished for chilling on the analyze because I would have been able to. Yeah, if I'd analyzed, I'd be able to storm splitter fire off druid in their turn. Actually, kind of punished my decision. Hmm. Very annoying. I don't know if I'm allowed to lead on this. We could just analyze and storm splitter and block. Yeah, I guess that was an option. Plasm. Can't really do anything anymore. I guess it's um Storms, but let's just get rid of it. We need cards in the yard for our analyze. We're gonna block with the questing druid and then we'll have eight. Go grab a questing druid. Okay, poor patch blows up the ethereal armor, though does not keep me alive. Barely. I do this. I analyze, which gets me a storm splitter. Analyze grabs, I assume, questing druid. And then if I questing druid on my end step, I get a bunch of blockers to get to next turn with. And I also get to keep these because it's until my next end step. All right, this is really nice. This is really nice. And now it's just super hard for them to attack into my board. Oh, this gets to grow the glimmer, but I can pull a patch it. That doesn't matter. Might just be able to like kind of blow up everything. Honestly, I don't know. See what happens. They get some counters. Yeah, we can make three more storm splitters. If we do it on our end step, it is technically worth more. But we could also just make three and block. I guess. I guess I kind of want to draw a card with this anyway, because that helps me keep comboing. Um. Yeah, let's just do this. Get our free storm splitters and block with them. So. Block with my pals. Munch my pals. Oh, I guess this means I don't get to cast spells on the end step. I don't think that matters, though. I think we're going to have so many that we're just fine. But, like, maybe that would have been worked out better to cast a couple spells on that turn. All right, what are we doing? What are we doing? I don't know if we're combo killing them this turn. We're probably just, like, generating a bunch of value this turn, I guess means I might want to cast a questing druid before I do things and grow the questing druid real large.
school. So to say go. I make a bunch of storm splitters to block with. Error of light. Um, so it's currently a 4 4, so I can't actually. Oh, it's gonna gain flying though, so then I just poor patch it. Cool. I guess poor patching it does mean we don't get to cantrip, which is pretty sad. But. Probably do it now. All right. Hmm, game three. I feel like that might have been an aggressive concession, but you know, I'm not gonna complain about it. I wish we could just play like 30 adventure creatures. <laughs> okay, game three. This deck seems mopey when we're aggressively not trying, not aggressively trying to combo. I do agree. This is kind of why I want it to be like um, a mid-range deck though, right? Is that, um, I feel like if you build it slightly differently, like the thing is against aggro decks, you're forced not to be an aggressive combo deck, right? In which case I feel like, um, Hmm, let's grab. Just pick your poison it. <laughs> like, I feel like against any aggressive deck, you're not allowed to aggressively combo because you have to be interacting. And in those circumstances, that makes you really want to be more mid rangey in how you're approaching things instead of being like single minded. Hmm, I should probably just can't cycle this. This is like kind of a reasonable card against the monster, but whatever. It gets our analyze the pollen really well set up, so. Hey, we're just talking about you. <laughs> they probably have removal for this. But whatever, if they get lost it, I just don't care. So, fountain port, huh? I could go get a storm splitter. Hmm. Let's just get a questing druid. And that sounds pretty fun. Am I allowed to just get a questing druid? And just draw a bunch of cards. Or I could get a green shell, but I can't cast it this turn, so that doesn't sound great. Yeah, I kind of just want to keep the card flow going. We'll find a storm splitter eventually, right? Keeping the card flow going seems really nice at the moment when my opponent's not, you know, doing a huge amount. Gremlin Tamer. Sure. Resolves. Mm -hmm. I think I just want to torch that in response. Nice, nice. Buy ethereal armor. Um, yeah, I don't really care about this. Okay. Lionfish. Mm-hmm. What do you be?
this. Little milling, throw my druid. Pyroclasm does technically kill the fish. <laughs> I'm not convinced I want to do that. I don't know, it is a face up pyroclasm. I can maybe just chill though. It feels just astronomically unlikely this fish actually kills me. Okay. We have a poor patch for it later. You <laughs> if you I say something like that, you hope it happens. I mean they're getting rid of my blocker. Oh my enduring vitality apparently, okay. Deal. Acceptable. I mean, we have this face-up pyroclasm that currently kills the fish, so I'm not, like, the most concerned I've ever been in my life. It has ward 2. Okay, they're just going to draw a card. Cool. Very okay with this. Good game, thank you, thank you. All right, we are winning matches with this. It's doing okay. I think I'm gonna keep playing it a bit longer. I'm enjoying it. Maybe they didn't have better options. Yeah, I think their draw was just really clunky. Two, three, a yeah, nice draw. I'm gonna chill on this Analyze to see what I mill first. Uh, I have a snack I'm going to be chowing on, so I'm going to be muted a little bit. Uh, it is celery sticks and hummus. Very, very healthy. Not quite eaten enough today yet, though, so... Oh, we're against blue-black, against Gix. Does the Gix deck get anything new? Oh, you know what's nice? There's this... There's the deal one adventure. You could play a single copy that you can analyze for so that you can actually kill Bat. Which would be sick, right? <laughs> <laughs> then you get to analyze for it for um we should probably just be playing one of those anyway it's also the one it's like the one mana spell we're looking for as well in blue enduring creatures a four mana gix that doesn't cost you life four mana is kind of a lot but maybe it's like basically unkillable right which sounds pretty gas and you can like then go all in on just like a bunch of shitters low on your curve without having the fail states that Demir does. Hmm. I might need a backup otter, but also this picklock prankster seems like pretty appealing to me. Since it can dig for a torch and it can kill the bat. Has flash? Wait, what? That actually sounds really good to me, Glenn. That actually sounds like a very appealing card, honestly. I think I think Demir should be playing that. You get to like hold open your counters, flash it in on end step. Your opponent can't really like remove it properly. It sounds really strong. Hmm. Is they can counter my thing if I cast it. I could just get down a prankster instead. And fire off my other cash grab. And then we have more info on what we actually want off the cash grab. Pretty nice. 
Biraz. It's a shame Picklock Prankster can't grab adventures. But, hey. Are they just making a 1 1? Very acceptable. And it's a 4 3. Enduring Code Curiosity seems really strong. I think we're going to be playing some Demir at some point soon. With like maybe a couple copies of that card. Alright, the one freeze uh, gather. Ooh, very nice draw. And get this down. And uh, just hold open my prankster. Or Kaito. Is there a new Kaito? Now Kip T is your best friend. I'm actually kind of excited to play. Okay. Oh, thank you, Gwen. Gwen is on top of these uh, rifles today. Oh my god, Tidebinder. Holy shit, dude. Okay, okay. Thanks. Tidebinder is quite good against us. Kaito Bane of Nightmares, Ninjutsu, one blue black during your turn. As long as Kaito has one or more loyalty counters, he can be four. Uh huh. Get an emblem of ninjas you control, get plus one plus one. He grows himself and other ninjas. I don't know, are there any other ninjas? <laughs> I can't think of any. Um, and then zero is surveil to draw a card for each opponent who lost life this turn. Minus two is tap target creature. Oh my god, two stun counters is like really close to actually killing it in a lot of scenarios. This Kaito also seems sweet. God, I want to play so much Demir. I'm going to be on that Demir life. Fire off this. See what we find. Make another dorky one free, I guess. Say its name, huh? We'll definitely take an Allies the Pollen. Seems phenomenal. Hmm. Yeah, just run out this, Analyze for a f the uh, combo creature. They go with Questing Druid open, maybe? That one's pretty reasonable. I do like getting the one free down. It just blocks so well. Okay, there are four standard ninjas. That's row is a very strong card, but it's kind of hard to imagine it being good. Um, in in standard Demir, alas. Get this ready. Helping hand. Huh. What adventure creatures would you get off white? Get woodland acolyte. That doesn't sound amazing, but maybe. Yeah, it doesn't hit Stone Splitter. True. That's probably enough to make it not appealing. It only grabs the Endurance. Alright, definitely happy to take three. I want to keep both critters in play because they become mana dorks the moment Vitality hits the 
play area. Might as well find a couple cards. They might just counter this. Okay. Wow. They could have a cut down open, I guess, but they don't have a whole lot of mana there. Oh, they do have a cut down. That's actually really annoying. That stops me comboing, right? They get to kill the first Storm Splitter, and I think that just slows me down too much. It means I might just not be going for it this turn. Yeah, I would get a replacement Storm Splitter. They'd get to kill this one. And then I would Brick. I think I just have to play a land and say go. Hmm. Really close. I was really hoping that was our opening, honestly. The deal one would probably let me win. Yeah, I'd get to kill the bat. I'd get back Say It's Name, which would be another spell. It'd be kind of insane for me, right? Oh my god, this is a 2-2. Two -two. Wow. This is very embarrassing. Um... Hmm... <laughs> This is not my finest moment, I will, I will say. Ah, huh. yeah. Just throw away a mana dork for no reason. Cool, cool. Alright. These don't gix me. As long as they don't gix me, I feel like I'm just astonishingly far ahead, but... At least they could exile the vitality somehow. All right, one free down. Swing in with the, with the team. They end it, do we fold? It's not, it wouldn't be great for us. <laughs> um, wouldn't be, it wouldn't be great for us. Six, seven. Four cob. Cool. Okay. Let's play our Storm Splitter. Let us analyze some pollen. Um. I have no idea the extent to which it matters what I choose here. I guess I will just pick some cards. Could probably have picked the Cease Desist, whatever. Get a Storm Splitter. Unfortunately, they will be killing the original, which is um, a lot of pressure on our mana, but you know. I could go get a replacement. I kind of want to go get, just start getting questing druid. Okay. Sounds pretty nice. Cool. Hmm. That's a questing druid. Gimme. Gimme, gimme.
<laughs> and they are dead. And Arena is struggling. <laughs> A lot. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, I would love another questing druid. Why not? I guess say its name getting back questing druid specifically is really nice. But. Very hard to imagine this not being lethal. <laughs> I think this is lethal, minus 41. Um, so the good news is uh, they didn't draw Gex. We got to win. Unfortunately, they might draw Gex in the next game. Now this is an act, yeah. This is what it's about. <laughs> Is what it is about. Where did this deck come from? This specific build I got from Yeoman. Both my four mana creature lives and then opponent dies. Yep. The the perfect deck building right there. I don't know. It's because they're from different sets, but I don't know why Arena defaulted to that. I'll tell you. Just always cutting cash grab. Card is so heinous, good lord. Um, do I just have to cut the cut the out and act stuff to fit everything I want in? Are we into a four four reach? Like honestly, maybe. <laughs> um, Pops curiosity if they run it. Only like loosely. <laughs> they do kind of get to keep it, but. It's nice starting hand. Have some combo pieces, have some interaction. Cannot complain. Hmm. Thank you. Uh, this means we're going to end up paying a life eventually, but I want to be able to free the Fae. Mm hmm. Except all. Please don't gex me. Thank you. Appreciate you, opponent. Um, so that one's got to die. I guess I'm using poor patch on that. So that I can double spell next turn. Or I could just get on my Enduring Vitality next turn. Regardless, I want to use my mind. More than anything. You get to see my hand. Hmm, getting down the vitality would be nice. But I think Forch plus Free the Fae. Seems pretty good. All right, please continue to not gix me. <laughs> Many have wondered this, Sophia. All right, they get their sick, sick value. Gloom Lake Bird, I see. Nice little addition. Yeah. 
Well, doing this. Find a pyroclasm. So this is going to force them to take the clasm, right? Realistically. And then I get to go pranks to cease next turn. I guess I could cease first to maybe dig to a Clasm of my own or a blue mana. Pretty scripted from the opponent's side that this is probably what I'm doing. Okay. Now my blocker. It will be sad to lose Picklock Prankster if I build the adventure version. That card is like kinda great. Wow, just killing my prankster? That's crazy. <laughs> exactly how we um let it go. Alright, I will kill your deep cavern bat. Get my Clasm. Fire off my Clasm. Literally the best pick lock prankster I've ever seen outside of Phoenix. Just go. Mm-hmm. Basically unkillable. Yeah, Pyroclasm has seemed exceptionally strong. Cannot deny. Turns out you were right when, when you said every sideboard should start with four Pyroclasms. <laughs> oh, can I combo now? I assume I can. Seems quite probable. At the very least, I'm going to be taking some game actions. Hmm. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing the thing. Rid of um, nonsense. Get some storm splitters. Yeah! Resting Druid MVP! Let's go! Um... This seems pretty good. Yeah. Good. Do I, want to, do I want to save this Analyze? I do really want to have my third land rolled up so I can just jam Vitality on free. It feels like I've got enough cargo flowing. I don't need to like aggro combo here. I'm gonna make sure my lands are all set up. All right. And I can just go for one of my cantrips. Unfortunately, it seems like they might be the red deck. Oh, what? That's not what I was expecting. I guess this would be pretty thing. Oh, Pia? Is that what they are? Regardless, I have never seen a Wonder Tail mentor cast. Wants to lead on cash grab. Get this otter. Amazing. Oh, 
Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the answer to your question. ENLR is a very cool card, but I don't think it's what I'm looking for. All right, they could have removal for my Otter if I cast it. How much do I care? I still kind of get to do a lot of stuff, right? Yeah, I, th I think I might just kill them anyway. This is the thing. Seems like pretty likely they die. Hmm. Kind of the worst possible questing druid imaginable. Cool, cool. <gasps> Hard for it to be much worse. Anyway. I think we're going to be fine. We will find a way to make it through this incredibly trying time. Incoming fog. <laughs> start growing these questing druids for style points. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's go. Now we can't use our say it names from the grave. Indeed, indeed. Oh no. Whatever will I do? However, will I get through this situation? All right. Gain to life. Draw a card. playing raccoons maybe they are i was trying to figure out why they have wonder tail mentor in their deck i guess raccoons would kind of answer that oh my god arena gets so upset when you have this many otters Smuggles? What smuggles? I've not heard of this. Uh, yeah. Arena just hates otters, indeed. Oh, smugglers surprise. Right. Right, right, right. I don't really know what they're up to, so I kind of don't want to, like, sideboard too much. That is ridiculous. It's a, it's a little... Okay. Maybe we want the gates in case they are smugglers. Hmm. Whatevs. I can't think of many things that would be happy to have 95 otters in them. Alright, this is a mulligan. Definitely a keep. Um, I knew if I was drawing a land. I guess I just get rid of this and keep the analyze. Okay, fine. Seems good. Oh, opponent. Opponent is going through it, this match. Oh my god. A heartbreak. Real. Hmm. 
Interesting. I kind of want to negate that. They've been missing so many land drops. Is that deranged? I think this is fine. Get down a creature for our vitality. And you get new set drops, excited for games. Shuffler does this to you. It really do be like that. Rough out there. Wow. Worst questing druid I have ever seen in my life. Um, anyway. Hmm, mm -hmm. okay. Do this cash grab. Find an otter. Step one. Step two. Four, four. Fill them with the exceptionally mediocre beats. I mean, this is like the one deck that's pretty happy to hit Questing Druid or Questing Druid. I don't know. We found the one exception. All right, and now opponent dies. Love to see it. Unfortunately, we're going to be tapping this questing druid. Oh no. Not know possibly how, how we will survive. <laughs> they were actually raccoons. A shocking twist of fate. I love this stupid deck. This is amazing. Good game, opponent. Good game. Get in there with the otters. Oh, yeah. I think we might have only lost one match today. <laughs>